All right, folks, welcome to Valheim Ashlands. We're going to jump in here and start a brand new playthrough because um, we're going to head towards Ashlands. And I haven't been in Valheim in a hot minute. So character here, I uh, just gave him a regular old royal beard. I think braided two is my hair. And the way I... No, cancel. Get out of there. The way I like to do my uh, world, I just... This is the one I started on uh, Twitch the other day, just to kind of remind myself of how to play. I like to do uh, a new, and then I just cancel it five times. That way it's just a random seed, so there's the seed we're going to start with. Um, and we'll just do YouTube Season 1. I don't know. We'll just start with that and go from there. Um, I'm gonna do it as a, oh, yes, we have the world modifiers too, that's right, okay, so, what is the, do I have to pick something here? I guess we'll just pick something and then I'm gonna move things back. Death penalty, normal, yep, resource rate, so I'm gonna make this times one and a half. Um... I'm going to do raids less often. Normal portals, no. I want everything to be able to be portaled. Um, and uh, the rest of it, just normal. So there you go. That's my world settings for this playthrough. Here we go. Okay, get started. I'm going to let the cutscenes play through. That way, if anybody hasn't read it, you'll be able to read these here. So... Bear with on the first episode on some of this stuff like this. Of course, it has to build the world. So, how you doing? How's your day? It does take a hot minute, I forgot. Shouldn't be long, though. There we go. There we go, you can see the world. And we're in. Nice. Okay. I think as I play this game today, this might still be on sale. I'm not sure. Uh, how long it's going to be on sale for, though. Uh, let's see. Is it good for you guys? Yeah. So, as it gets a little bit too dark, I'm going to go ahead and try to brighten it up for you a bit. So, I'll try to make sure I keep that in mind. So, be sure you grab all the things around the spot where you uh, zone in at world-wise. We're going to get a visit here in a minute. So, be sure that you... Stop here and get your Ike location. 
So it's not too far away from where you usually start. And he's right here, which is good. We are wet. There's usually going to be a... Let me turn that down just a bit. It's already down pretty good, but... Uh, anyways, there's usually berry bushes. Yep, there we go. Right there. Just a little bit more stamina, a little bit more health. We're going to have friends here in a minute, so we want to make a... Uh, I'm going to make a axe club. I don't have enough for a hammer. That's fine. Um, did I not make a uh, axe? Uh, I thought I did. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. So basically, your first day is running around grabbing all the loose stuff you can and punching trees. Um, wood. Need more wood. And getting established. Okay. Oh, mushrooms. Very good. So, the funny part about, um, okay, so mushrooms are actually good because they give you an even number of health. And stamina. Fruit gives you, um, let's see, hover over here, more stamina. Meat gives you more health. And you can kind of tell because, um, see the fork icon? Usually, I think it's silver means it's even. If I remember correctly, it's been a hot minute. And then yellow is going to be more stam heavy. Red is going to be more um, HP healthy, I believe, if I remember correctly. Um, and then I think it's the same down here on the bottom, uh, underneath your food bar. You can only have three food items all at once. So that tells you if you're more stam heavy, more HP heavy, or balanced would be, of course, the, uh, silver. So, do I have... Yeah... No, I did turn it down. Ha. There we go. Oh, that looks much better. I turned it down on the Twitch side because I was showing them if you turn your vegetation down, you actually can see things better on the ground. Which is true. Obviously, we saw the mushrooms. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Okay, so I'm not going to sneak over there. We need to try to trap a couple of pigs early on. So if I can, I'm going to resist going over there and smashing that pig. Uh, am I? No, I'm going to go ahead. We're likely to be able to find a pig as soon as we can. What I want to do is sneak up on the deer. Hey, buddy. There we go. And if you sneak well enough, you can sneak up on him pretty good. And I'll show you here. Um, come on. Oh, of course, we have to cook it first. Never mind. That was dumb. So I like to try to build a starter as close as I can without being right on top of the Ithir location. And in close relative location to this, uh, because you have to come back here and let me show you. And I realize for people that already know, it's going to be pointless. So bear with me on the ones that know. Um, as you progress through the game, there are bosses to defeat. Oh, there's two mushrooms right there. Hey, buddy. All right, stamina. Come on now. Oh, you'll come back. There's bosses to defeat, and when you defeat them, you have to come back here for certain reasons that you will find out later as you play through on your own time. So 
so there should be let's see one two three four five six seven yeah there's seven now all right did i count that right so one two three four five six seven yep oh that's the new one ho, ho, ho. so anyways you have to come back here and and drop an item off back at your beginning circle so you have to come back here even if it's you're at the end game so it's just nice to be able to come back here and have an easy way to get back here all right um hammer hammer is a key piece of your kit and i just like to keep one on my build see there you go that tells you why uh, I like to keep one on my bar, excuse me, not build. So let's see, here is... Okay, so right there, that gives you a... That sound right there should give you a, a good idea of why it's handy to have a hammer on your bar. I have nothing really to protect me from these. I don't have a long range option yet. I haven't built a workbench. So what you can do... If you read down to the bottom, uh, you place, you can remove, or if you open your build menu, which I have down to mouse three, you can do a workbench. And then what we can also do is, oh shit. What's up, fellas? Is there a meeting of the minds you didn't tell me about here? Anyway, so I'm not going to repair because that's what I have chosen. What I am going to do. Oops. Um, I'm going to remove. So right, right mouse or, or mouse two. Let's me break stuff. Because I can recover all this wood. But it also lets me take this part. get the beehive without getting poisoned without getting murdered <laughs> by a bee so it's just super handy uh, now it does take durability every time you break something so you can see on my bar now oops let me get this down to damn it my my number seven key my hammer it's already taking durability loss so we have to be careful of that um, Actually, all your items will take durability loss. Um, the workbench only lets you repair items if it's got a covered roof. In a non-modded game, that's the way that works. Damn it. Okay, so I show you a little trick here with the deer, if in case anybody doesn't know. So, if you scare a deer, if you stay in hiding and stay put. And give them a minute they'll come back to where they were so we'll just wait a minute and you'll see little thing i like to do when you find a bush that has berries on it i like to try especially in the black forest i like to try to put an icon down uh, and just mark it that way as i do farming later for recipes I can come back to where they were and they usually respawn by then I don't think I'm hitting well enough the eye open back up so let me just come over here maybe behind the tree yeah behind the tree Get my stamina back up here. And behind me, that sound behind me, there's a bunch of necks in the lake. Come on. Come on, dear. I don't have time for this. Oh, did you see me again?
Sounds like he saw me again. I heard him. Shit. Okay, well. Um. Oh, yeah, he ran that way. Damn it. Ah, there he was. Ah. Well, well. Too late now. <laughs> okay. Either way, test it out for yourself. You'll see. Um, usually, if you wait him out, um, they'll come back. Promise. Wouldn't lie to you. Wink, wink. Okay, so let's go. Um, I'm good with health, so I'm going to go ahead and do uh, more stamina. So I'm very heavy stamina right now. So let's take a look at our map. So I'm going to go look over here. So on the Twitch side, I learned a lesson the hard way. Be careful out in the water. <laughs> because I built out on a little island. And um, we had some crazy storms roll in. And um, yeah. Had water come all the way up in my house with the tides. Um, basically, I was sleeping underwater. It wasn't a good time. Um, you know, I think for tonight, we're just going to use that house over there as a temporary shelter, and I will worry about a long-term house in the next video. Oh, you know what? Ooh! You little bastards. neck tail that always cracks me up um there was oh yeah okay mm. this may become our long-term build over here okay how much wood do we have on us Ooh. Got a good amount of wood. Okay. Um. Nah, I'm gonna let them be. I don't wanna. I don't wanna rile them up just yet. Necktail ponds. Boars really close. Hmm. Flat-ish ground. We could. Certainly make this pretty flat with a uh, leveler. Hmm. <laughs> Is this another house over here? Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's do our little trick again here. So we may have to put some of this house back, obviously. Um, well, hopefully. Oh, now, come on. What is even holding you up, man? Really? There we go. Okay. So... Let's go... I hear you sneaking up on me. I don't like it. I did not 
don't like the way that doesn't fit in there. Come on. Um, let's go ahead and do the repair. We're gonna need to bring this inside. This is gonna break before too long. Uh, and I wanna be sure that I can repair it. Um, and so, okay, like beds like this, you can't, you can't break them down or you can't uh, break them down with a hammer. You have to actually break them, break them. So this is just gonna be temporary until I get a bed better place built but you can definitely use places like this so super handy right. I'm gonna have to put a roof up so let's do this I believe there was an X on top. Oh, okay. Oh, oh come on now. It's one thing about Valheim, the uh, snapping points have always been a little fiddly. But one small complaint. <laughs> oh, my stamina. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Well, come on now. Come on, get up there. That is not the right place. Well, we'll worry about that in the morning. So let's put you in a better spot. Nope. Here. Um, is it even gonna let me put that there? Or more importantly, is it gonna let me use it? Oh, it is. There we go. So I get to repair everything. Uh, let's put a bed down. Actually, let's repair that. One thing I do like about modded stuff is it lets you repair everything at once with one smack, which is super handy. That's all right. Um, it also does all the durability at once on your hammer. So one time I went to repair stuff and oh my gosh, broke an entire hammer and it was a strong hammer. So it's not always necessarily the best thing. Okay, let's put down a... Torch or two. Oh, don't have enough resin. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then a bed. And last but not least, we need to go outside and put a. Let's grab a few more berries. It is nighttime. Got to put down a fire though before we sleep. We'll just stick that right over here beside the bed. Claim the bed and boom, bedtime. Do a quick cook of the food real fast. And you can tick it in the settings to unload unload unused assets that way there's not just a bunch of stuff loaded in the world that you don't need 
which is handy. Um, okay. So. Let's put. No, I'm not going to cook that. I'll save that for later. So. Up to your cooking station and pressing five and five. We can cook the necktails and then we'll cook the board meat as well. Give it just a minute here. So if you have adequate accompaniments in your sleeping quarters, you'll get a rested bonus. Um, and then six and six. And the rested bonus is nice because it gives you uh, a certain amount of uh, um, I guess I can't show it to you from here. Oh, I can. Can I? No, I can't. Mm. Well, it gives you a certain amount of uh, stamina, I think. I can't remember for sure. I think it gives you a certain um, stamina amount back. Which is handy. The higher your comfort level, a certain amount of stamina and health and regen you get during the day as you use stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and make a hoe. I don't have enough um, board, uh, leather scraps to make a uh, bow yet. Um, we can go ahead and do a. Is it? Yeah, one of these. Go ahead and do two. As a matter of fact, oh, I can't do two. Damn. All right. Drop off some of the stuff that we don't need right now. Um. How in the world did I get core wood already? Wow. Okay. Leave that there. Leave that there. We're not going to take the honey. My one other complaint. I wish that the clothes we were wearing did not count as stuff in our inventory. That tends to drive you a little nuts, but it's all right. It's neither here nor there. Okay. Foggy morning here. Uh, we do not need this. So I'm going to toss this out in the world, and hopefully in the morning when we go to bed, at, or rather nighttime when we go to bed, it'll unload those as well. I'm assuming that's part of what it does. Everything laying out in the open world goes away. All right think let's go and try to if those bore oh Jesus Christ scared me to death you little shits um, so 25 health 8 stam or 30 health 10 stam well, that answers that question right away Later on, the uh, tail meat I save for uh, stamina potions. Actually, fairly quickly, I start saving those. Grab a bunch of flint, because I want flint for a flint axe. It's more powerful than a stone axe. Um, so where was... Sorry, buddy. We need to get some wood um, so we can trap the deer, actually. Now that I think about it. Damn it. Well, I'm going to work on doing that. And uh, next episode, when you come back, we are going to work on getting the two boar trapped. Because the quicker we get boar trapped and start taming them, the quicker we'll have a little boar farm. And, uh, and that's just... I mean, that's just free bacon for life, really. So, folks, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Be sure you like and uh, share out the video if you can. That way we get the good start on the Valheim Ashlands episodes. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Yeah. See ya.